Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 155, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. We're your hosts. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Hi, Anton. Hi, Marwa. Um, so I'm going to start out right away and mention that uh, today's episode is dedicated to Alan Sitterson. Alan, Alan uh, was a member of the Apex development team for a long time. I, I, I can't even remember. I'm, I'm sure it's in, in here. It's probably 20 years. Um, I worked a fair amount with Alan, and while researching uh, the content of this this blog, I, I came across that he had passed away in April, and I, I didn't even realize it. Um, and so, uh, um, I, the, this this blog has a little, or this blog, this uh, this Apex Instant Tips has a little bit of content uh, related to to Alan. Um, so uh, I'll mention if any of you have been to uh, K Scope. Um, you may have seen Alan perform. Alan was, uh, in addition to an Apex uh, development team member, he was a stand-up comedian and and a good one, and and one that had, um, uh, you know, actually headlined shows. He 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 opened for lots of really famous people. Um, and Mar Marwa, you never saw him, did you? No. No, no. Um, but he went by a stage name of uh, Alan Goodwin, but he also. He also, as part of his act, referred to himself as Badgerine. And so this is Badgerine right here. Um, and, and as Alan would tell you, he was the superhero Badgerine because he could badger you uh, until, <laughs> until you got something done. <laughs> so he would, uh, he would um, yeah, he, he definitely had that capability, um, which is a good trait when you're uh, in development, right? You can, you can yes. badger someone until it gets done. Um, uh, so, Anyway, enough of that. I'm uh, I'm happy to uh, have the opportunity to um, uh, to just dedicate a show to to Alan. Um, so, uh, Marwa, I'm going to jump right in and say um, just related to that to, to get the, the the rest of that story uh, complete. This show is about icons um, and uh, buttons and icons and so forth. And as I I'm sure nobody realizes it, but we actually do research and practice this show. Um, it doesn't it doesn't show. But uh, but here we go. Um, so in um, in the icons of uh, of Apex, uh, the uh, the font Apex icons, there is a Badgerine icon. Look at this. Isn't that great? I, yeah. I assume that this must be a tribute uh, based on this. I haven't I haven't reached out to anyone, but uh, I, I, I saw this Badgerine icon and and that's how uh, I, I came to learn of. Uh, of all this, so um, super, uh, a super cool tribute uh, to Alan, uh, the Badgerine icon. Okay, so with all that, uh, Marwa, let's jump into our tip. Okay, so let me start with the the before we actually give the tip. Start with the the setup here. Um, I have a a date picker. When I change the date on my date picker, it automatically um, it has a dynamic action that refreshes this. Uh, and the client um, wanted to be able to easily clear that out of there. Uh, so any thoughts on, on how to go ahead and put that clear in there? That's not yeah. part of the date picker. Yes, actually, I would go to the post element text and add something there to create the clear functionality. Oh, let's see if I can do it. That's all I did. You got it exactly right. It's just a tiny little bit of... Uh, of JavaScript code, Apex item. You can use dollar $s. I think Apex item is the preferred way at this point and set the value to null. Um, so there we go. Um, that is all we need to do to, to do that. But what do you think about the user interface? What's your, what's your take on this right here? I think we can enhance it a little bit more. And like next to the question mark, I can, could it be an icon? That's exactly right. That's the same thing the client asked for as well. Um, so let's go ahead and start talking about it. that's where this started. So we're going to start our tip. Um, how would you how would you get the right icon for that? Uh, I would go to the Apex Universal theme and look for. Right. And so the URL that I always do this, I just go to apex.rolf.com slash UT. Exactly. Just like you said, I come in here, go to icons. I think minus. There we go. There, you can copy and use that. So I can just put that right 
in here. Oop, if only didn't. You're on the dynamic action section. Thank you. I don't know what how I got there, but uh, here we go. I'll pop that in here and I'll run that. Ooh, all right, we're done. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> well, I had I had made the app made it five, but uh, made five. Let's assume, let's assume that I didn't. Let, let's let's go ahead and get this the right way. Sorry about that. I had I had plus that up to a five. Let's let's fix that. Um, come in here again. Now we'll run it. All right, now we're done. Okay, now it's an icon and next to the question mark, but it looks higher not aligned with the question mark icon. Okay, how am I gonna fix that? You can inspect the page and see what is in there, in that part. Oh, uh, it actually looks like it's a button, not just an icon. Uh, so. Yes, so, so the question mark is a button. button. And yours is just an icon. You can use a button with an icon only Yes, there is a button builder page also. All right, so I'm going to come in here, make it icon only. I'm going to change this to uh, minus again. Uh, I this probably would want to put clear in here because it'll give me some some bonuses there. And all right, I could just use that, but I know I need to re remove the UI decorations. And I'm going to also point out that here I can get my spacing a little smaller. I do all of these things, and then I get all this markup and you can see that's what my button is going to look like, right? Right. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll put all of that in instead. So, all right. We are cooking with gas now. All right, what do you think? Now it's better. It's aligned. The, the color is not the same. It's not what we had in the preview of the other page, of the yes. button of the page. Yeah, and so this is where a couple of things, this is something I've struggled with a lot is, when I'm using this button builder here, and I think I actually probably should have done, you know, something else with the spacing, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. My, my point here is I don't get to see it within the context of my actual application. I don't get to use my theme. Um, and so, so the tip that I'm going to give is a couple of things. First, I all this is great, but you can actually install the universal theme app in your own workspace this this is the universal theme app and it's running in my workspace you can see that i actually made a couple of changes i i added quick links on the front page to the icons and the button builder so i added this right here uh, to the button builder and i added the ability to download this app um, we'll put this url on the screen so you can come to my app if you want but the thing that this lets me do is i can come in I can go to the theme roller and I can have my own. So I've installed my theme into this app. So when I do this and I save this now, now, because I've done this, when I use the button builder and the icon builder, I'm going to see what I would see otherwise, right? I'm going to really see what I would do. So I'm going to go to my button builder and I'm going to do that in this app. But the other thing that I did was my customers often want more features here. They want to be able to change things other than that. So I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say clear, uh, clear. I only have 34 seconds. Uh, clear minus. Uh, I'm going to, and then I'm going to change this to remove UI decorations. And I'm going to just change the text to, let's say I want a different, this is new. You can't do this in here, but now I've changed the text color even. And so I have more options, text, opacity, and so forth. If I copy this and I put this in here now instead, I get to see the same thing that I would have seen otherwise. That is it, that's the timing. But now you can see, I see exactly the same thing here as I do in my button builder. Yes. That is the tip essentially that First, you can download your own. You can install the this in your workspace. It's in the gallery. You can install this. But if you want my additional features within the button builder, so in the button builder, you get to change these additional things. Uh, 
Uh, could we use FA times circle O? <laughs> I hope so. Let's see, FA times circle O? I don't know if that's FA times. Uh, well, let's try it. FA times circle O. FA times circle O. Does that work? Oh, it, there's the answer. Yes, it does. Um, so we could use that uh, as well. Um, so all of that said, um, I did that here, and I also did it within the icons screen itself. In the icons screen um, here, when you go to one of these, you get the additional uh, block colors, you get um, the, the opacity. Um, so I have done this for you to make it, or for myself, really, I say for you, I did this for myself because I'm going to be using it. Uh, but if you want these features, you can, of course, do this yourself. You can look through and figure out how to do it. But I built out this application. I, I added all these things in to make, to make it easier for me to build icons and buttons. If you come to this application, which I think we put the URL on the screen, but if we didn't, we will. We'll also put the URL in the, the notes. You can download this app and install this app in your workspace. If you do that, you'll have all these features uh, in there. And you can do the same thing. You can customize with Theme Roller. You can import your, you can export the theme from your application, import it into here, and then it will all look like it does in your application. Um, yes. And thank you. This is very useful. And I'm already using this application. I've installed it on my workspace. And it's very, very useful. Yes. Yeah, since I did it. I, it's incredible. Since I built this, I've already been using it so much. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to build your, to build, you know, you can do everything by going to the reference and looking at the content modifiers and the layout modifiers and the, the colors and everything. But having it right in the builder makes a big difference. And, and it, it saves you from having to do the research as well as to where do you squeeze these things in, right? When I'm doing an icon and I do block, uh, hot, where does that go? Does it go inside which pieces and, and all of that? So um, it took a little, little bit of work to figure out, um, but, uh, but there you have it. Um, I'll point out, it wasn't trivial to add these. Um, there's a lot of JavaScript that I had to go through, or that we, I guess I say I, Mar Marwa is my JavaScript, uh, you know, whispers in my ear, she, telling me where I made mistakes the whole time when she sees me doing some kind of JavaScript. Um, uh, anyway, Marwa, I guess that's all we have. Anything additional from you? Well, I like all those new features that you've added, and that made me gain a lot of time when I want to customize a button or an icon. So yeah, that's an amazing tip. Thank you, Anton. All right. Um, well, if you uh, liked this tip, uh, like this tip, I guess that's what they say, right? Do the, the thumbs up thing, the splat, the subscribe, all of those things. Uh, what's the three dots? I don't know. I, one of those apps. Anyway, do all the things. Tell your friends about the show. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.